Good and welcome to this special delivery on working with ClickSense. My name is Jean-Pierre Labiscochny and I'm super stoked that you are here and I can share this great information with you. Now, have you ever needed a chart type that wasn't natively available within ClickSense? Or perhaps you really wanted to take your visualization the next step by showing off something great. Well, that's exactly what we will look at today. We will focus on how to use extensions and we'll build a proper polar chart in ClickSense, something that you will probably not have done before yet. But let's have a look at what a polar chart is. Here's some two great examples too, that's actually quite beautiful as well, where you'll see it has a definite resemblance on a normal pie chart. Now, if you know me very well, I'm not a, fan, a big fan of the old pie chart. So this variation is really cool. What you'll see, however, how it differs from a normal pie chart is that the angle for each dimension is exactly the same. The only thing that differs is the actual radius. And in this example, you see it as well. So that's basically something that you can use when you have values that are closely close to each other and you want to distinguish them a bit better or just want to try something different and make it look awesome. But let me actually show you what I mean and let's actually create one ourselves. So I basically have a um, instance of an app over here with some order information. As you can see in the data view, we've got some order ID, the product name, a sales value in dollars, a category and a subcategory. Now the question might be which of these subcategories are performing the best in terms of number of sales or uh, you know which are doing the worst or whatever the, the case might be. And you might be inclined to use a pie chart. Let's go to the analysis tab and have a look at what we built. So, in the normal charts, you will go to the actual pie chart and just drag it in, start adding your dimension. In this case, I'll use subcategory. And as a measure, we'll select the sum of sales. So that's pretty straightforward. And this is probably something you've done already. And you can see that bookcases, copiers and phones are the three top subcategories. And they're very closely related to each other. There's a 0.1 difference there and a 0.4 difference there. But as you can see, not very clear, you know, which one are, is actually the biggest. Now, it's obviously sorted in this case, but it might not always be the case. So how can we highlight that to our stakeholders? Well, and that's exactly why I wanted us to look at the polar chart. Now, I've already imported the polar chart. So under custom objects, you can see we've got the extension tab and there is our polar chart. Now, I'm not going to build it all from scratch. So I will just basically make a copy. Let's make a copy over there and make and simply make a, a paste on on the actual pie chart. What I want to show you as well is that any extensions or the extensions, if they are properly developed, act and operate exactly the same as any normal chart. So what we can simply do is drag this on top of our copy of pie chart and it would give us a normal menu. Do we want to replace it or convert it? And I'll just select converting. And immediately we've got a super cool uh, chart coming up, even with animation, which we didn't even ask for. So you'll say, well, this looks very, well, this looks much more uh, simple than our bar chart or our pie chart. So if I open this up, we can have a bit of a closer look. So as you can see, immediately we are able to see that bookcases is bigger than copiers and um, phones is smaller than copiers. So by even not even looking at the values, we know that there's a the difference between the two. Even with smaller values, you can see that the machines is smaller than chairs based on the total sales value. And that's basically because of the radius that's different. So a really cool chart to use and it immediately gives you a great indication of what you are actually showing over here. So for me, quite a nice chart type to use. And as you can see, it's got the normal settings that you have, obviously a bit more limited than our normal pie chart, but the normal actual options that you can actually set and change on there. So I'll just take this out of our edit mode and have a quick look at what we have built. So that looks pretty impressive and I hope you do like it as well. It is really super easy to add extensions into ClickSense. And uh, what I have today for you is a th free three-step cheat sheet in how we source, install, and use extensions. And you can find that free download in the uh, section below where you can see the download link. Just put in your email address and we will send it off to you. This is something that you will really find helpful going forward and you should really get your hands on a copy. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and uh, don't forget to, to get a copy of the free three-step cheat sheet. And until we meet each other again, happy clicking.